Hey, it's John Reed, JDOD.com. We've got Christopher Minkle of Deloitte. How are you doing? Doing well, thanks, John. So you are you have an internal IT leadership role, so that means you're essentially drinking some of SAP's champagne or in some cases maybe SAP's dog food, whatever it's for? Yeah, that's absolutely uh, the case. We, uh, the responsibility with it implies for my organization for business intelligence. Uh, I cover the United States and I have an advisory role globally. So business intelligence falls right into the buzzword alert category right off the bat here. So why does BI matter to, to you internally and to your customers? Well, BI matters to us internally because that's essentially how we figure out how projects are going. We've got professional services organization, everything's about projects, it's about relationships with customers. And being able to keep track of that, being able to keep track of where you are versus the bill rate versus what's in the contract, it's utterly critical to ensure that you have some trouble. So that's from an internal perspective. A lot of our external customers, we deal with a lot of very large customers, very large data sets, and they're just trying to make sense of all that data that's being generated nowadays and being able to turn that into actual information that they can be successful with. So speaking of lots of data, let's talk about HANA because you actually have been embarking upon the champagne there. Uh, so tell us about your internal HANA project that you're presenting on this week. Absolutely. So we're calling it Contact and Influence Finder. And what Contact and Influence Finder does is it brings together all of the associated touch points that we have with customers so that an end user or a customer facing individual, the client, service professional, etc., is able to, at their fingertips, have access to this information that generally takes days and weeks to generate. Now they get about 400 minutes. So I'm a little bit of a curmudgeon when it comes to speed, only because speed always does require a cost and an investment and a business justification. So in this case, okay, it's moving faster, but what business value are you deriving from it compared to how you used to do things, et cetera? It allows us to be more nimble and it allows us to be more competitive. Those are probably the bigger things to start off with because we literally have at our fingertips now this information, whereas it used to be a, you know, a scenario of we'll have to get back to you or well, you know, I'll, I'll let you know by the end of the week. Literally now we've got that information at our fingertips so we can make an informed decision at the time that it needs to be made. So it's extremely valuable for us. So there's a better customer service component. Uh, is there also a time-saving component in terms of IT person hours or what have you? Absolutely. There's a dramatic difference in the amount of time um, we put together the contact and influence when we're really in a conceptual phase to actually get into the point of loading data we didn't have for three weeks, which if you know, we had taken up more of an enterprise data warehousing approach, we'd probably be talking in you know, months to a month, potentially a year kind of time frame to get to be, to be in that point of so do you have a metric for how you measure that? Do you do you have a way of evaluating that after the product is done and say, this was a success so we can green line more of the same? We're actually, at this point, honestly, contacting a full spider. We probably could not have done it because there's, there's a significant component that's structured text analytics. We honestly probably could not have done that um, without Hana even being And that's really where we're looking at Hana right now is to do things that we typically did not even it's not even a potential for us to even look at. We're looking at those potentials now in order to make our business better. You also said something about a Crystal Reports project. What was happening there? So we were using Crystal Reports. Um, it's in a 360 feedback forum. It used to take, in our HR organization, we do 360 feedback for all of our folks um, in leadership positions. And what happens is, is that normally they have to put together a PowerPoint deck that usually takes about half a week. But It's a team of four to five folks, depending on how much information is in there. About half a week to a week, depending on who the individual is and the amount of feedback given. Um, and we've turned that now into a Crystal Report template, and that template executes in about 30 seconds. So you've got a number of tools from SAP in play, and I'm sure you have an ongoing correspondence with SAP about improving those tools. Are you getting everything you want? What's on your wish list for what's coming up for SAP and BI? We're getting all the stuff. Uh, we, we're a major contributor. We have regular conversations with SAP. Deloitte is a top 25 customer of SAP, so we have regular conversations with them about things that we want to see in the products. Um, the big stuff in BI that we're looking for is planning, being able to do planning from a HANA perspective, um, and then also the roadmap 
um, longer term, we, we definitely want to be a customer who's running not only our enterprise data warehouse and, and reporting applications, but also the business suite. We want to run the business suite in HANA for better performance. So before we wrap as we close here, you mentioned unstructured text analytics, which I haven't heard a lot about with HANA. Has that worked out well so far in a nutshell? Absolutely. Um, unstructured analytics is giving us the capability to be able to look through data um, in ways that had to be manual before, right? Somebody literally scanning, putting that information down and then and typing it in somewhere. Now we've got it in a job and uh, we're going to be doing a lot in that space in order to take advantage of all of the untapped data that's in unstructured data formats. So you're presenting on your HANA solution this week, but is there something you're hoping to learn this week as well? What, and what is that? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to learn a, little, a, a lot more about HANA, obviously, but also maintain my relationships with the SAP folks here and find out what's coming up in BI. I've gotten some updates on what's coming up forward in analysis, but then also timeframes for, for the other bits and pieces that are coming out in HANA, because those are, those have a, there's a little bit of change in that a lot of times. So um, it's always good to, to be able to come to these conferences and find out what the latest information is. Chris, thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a successful week. Thank you very much, John.